Which college campus will be the school that history points to and says the fight against global warming was galvanized there by those students? Here at Texas A&M, you're doing a very cool thing. I just read about it. Your, uh, your dining services, the, the, the cooking oil, is being turned into uh, campus delivery trucks, biofuel. I mean, that is fantastic. Challenge other schools to do that. You are part of the most important moment in human history. What will life be like on this planet in just 10 years? This is the moment. The moment when the choice is still yours to make. To that, that we don't accept that, that we hope that what we'll be able to do is to prolong, prolong the, the obvious or, or what is foreseen and try to really slow that down by, by contributing to the health of this planet. And I don't think there's any mysteries to why this planet is called Mother Earth because it does sustain us. And when she's healthy, when the Earth is healthy, then our health obviously will be much more taken care of. So. And um, what we feel about global warming and the concert is that um, the concert is a great way to um, get students uh, interested in the issue of global warming. And it's a great opportunity for us as um, students who are here active on campus working for these issues. It's a great way for us to um, draw students in and also educate them and also um, to focus on global warming today but to leave with a more um, understanding of what are some other environmental issues that affect us and what are some things we can do for them. So that's what we see this tour as. We know a lot about the information that they're going to talk about. Um, really show crows just to uh, drag people in and then educate them with right. the, the talk and we're here to tell them that there's something they can do about it. And uh, the reason why we're out here is um, is to counteract the uh, Cheryl Crow and stop the global warming stop global warming tour. We we lo we like the environment. Um, we like we like research that looks into uh, environmentally friendly energy. You know we like environmentally friendly energy. You know wind turbines things like that. Celebrities aren't necessarily the best people to to tell us not to drive our SUVs and trucks when they have their private jets that they fly around and their 15,000 foot square houses and. Um, and their air-conditioned barns and their SUV caravans and you hear everything in the media you know global warming it's our fault it's because of our cars and plants but um, you don't you rarely hear the side of many of the scientists top scientists in, in America and the world who um, who say yes global warming is happening but it's not our fault it's ocean currents it's the Sun's radiation Mars is getting warmer. Is that because of the the one vehicle we sent up there? <laughs> uh, it's should we be worried? Maybe. I mean, there might be worse weather coming. But is there anything we can do about it? I don't think so. Thoughts on the show? Uh, yeah, the show was pretty good. I think it's a great job you people are doing out here. Uh, definitely having Cheryl Crow and big, big people like that helps a lot in getting drawing a crowd's attention and, and getting them to come together at one place to uh, talk about and, and discuss the situations of global warming and stuff. Uh, simple things that students can do. And by buying a hybrid car might not be a feasible thing, but there are other things that we can definitely do. And letting us know about those things in time to time would really help us kind of help contribute towards reducing global warming, I guess. I pretty much thought the show was amazing. Um, a lot of people I know it was just a show for, like, there was a bunch of girls sitting in front of me that it was just a show for, but um, a lot of people I know came for, to actually learn something. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I actually originally got in the line at the MSC to get tickets to see Rudy Giuliani, and then I heard that Cheryl Crow was playing. After I received my ticket, I realized it was for global warming. That's just the truth. I think that it's one of the most important issues for our country right now and for the entire world, and it's something that we're not paying attention to. And we need to do anything we can to increase awareness because it's an imminent problem that people are just ignoring, and we're spending our time on issues that don't even matter. Uh, being an international student, the first thing I saw is that there's no public transportation. So that, w that forced me to buy a car, and that is increasing the global warming. So the best thing an American government can do is have a very good public transportation. The message is the same, whoever you hear it from, and 
uh, I think even us talking to our friends and families, we can make a difference too with the same message. You know, we're, we're, we're going to face the impacts of what we've already done. But we, you know, what we have to do is divert the, you know, the cataclysm ahead. I mean, that's what we have to do right now. So.